On January 15th, 2022, a volcanic eruption sent shockwaves through our kingdom of Tonga. Waves of destruction that would wipe out towns and our people's livelihoods. Gone with the tide. On the other side of the ocean, cut off from power and supplies. We prayed for the people of Tonga. The only way we could reach our loved ones. Although we are an ocean apart, we are still connected. And in round three, we'll be looking to give back to the kings and queens who gave us so much. Who gave us the kingdom of Tonga. Ko taulotu ma'ai kakai Tonga, ki tau whakataha pe, neonga ai whaingataa. Um, obviously, having family back in Tonga, it's um, you know, it goes a lot goes through your head, and it was um, you know, I have a real close family there. My heart sunk. Um, you know, obviously, you know, when a tsunami goes over Tonga, we always obviously think the worst. And I think it was more heartbreaking knowing that um, there was no line of communication. It was kind of hard the first week. Um, like my dad didn't really have any contact with his mom, and also his siblings there, so it was. Pretty scary, you know, um, not having any contact with them for a week. Um, so everyone was a little bit worried and, you know, just, you know, went straight straight to the worst. We're a big um, religion family, also a big nation that's based on religion. So we did our prayers and um, that's all we could have done those um, those few nights. You know, we, we believe everything happens for a reason and, you know, God God has stuff pl uh, plans for us. And But, you know, God doesn't, um, you know, give you anything that you can't handle, so. Growing up, um, it was pretty tough, but um, like we loved it. I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I'm close to my tongue inside, and you know, um, from a young age, uh, I learned um, pretty much the most important thing is is family. Yeah, my father definitely had a big impact um, in my sports career, in education, uh, yeah, throughout my whole life on all my siblings and I. I think we're the type of people that can't say no, so when anything gets hard or the coach tells me like, oh, you got to go and do that, it's just like, yeah. Sweet. I got it. Growing up, um, footy, um, NRL is like a massive thing for the Tongans. Like obviously you can see in the World Cup like how much passion they have, the fans. You know, that was a big thing for me and my family was just God, NRL, footy and just family. Dad, um, you know, he's instilled for me from a young age, um, you know, about family and about culture and, um, you know, he wanted me to be a football player. So, um, you know, he's very proud now. So. You know, he's a very loving and he's family first guy and he's done everything for our family, so it's going to be like him. Yeah, I think the whole world, the uh, rugby league world, has uh, seen what sort of nation we are. Um, I was talking, like I said, with Cookie. Um, they had, they were, we were playing them, Australia and, um, and New Zealand, and they, they had no crowd, they had no one. But just to hear from Cookie saying, like, he's going to sing our anthem, our Tongan people sang the anthem for them. And that's just who we are as and people. You know, we we be, we might be against you and stuff, but we're still for you. So grateful for Rabbitohs, you know, putting um, this round together for us um, in the Tongan community. Like it's just been something we've all looked forward to. I think not just me as a South Sydney person, but also our community as well as Tongan. Um, just knowing that not only a club is behind us, but like it, it just feels like family. Yeah, so the club's going to be, um, you know, designing some t-shirts. I think, you know, raise all that money for Tonga to send back to Tonga. And I think all the Tongan boys are going to get our boots boots painted. So an old friend of mine, his little brother does um, painting on shoes and stuff like that. So he sort of hit me up when um, all the tsunami stuff was happening and said, how can I help? I have like a lot of friends and family who've come from Tonga and I saw how it affected them and their families. So I just wanted to try and do my part to help. And we had the idea to message Junior, who we grew up with, he was very keen on getting some boots painted. He can auction off as well, and this can all go to charity and just ended up working out. It's exciting, because you know, like, when things get hard on the field and you can't like see much because you're just so tired, you look down your boots, you're like, oh, you know, it's a good reminder, like, this is, this is who I'm playing for this game. It will just give us that extra energy that's needed for game day. Be pretty mad running out, you know, with our culture and our boots, and I think the team's gonna, you know, try and get some, some, um, necklaces and that for the team to be made. The top spot uh, that plays that, that, that game, you know, they all walk out with a, um, a kahoa, a, a Tonga necklace, where uh, we will present that to the kids and just shows a bit about um, the culture. Something little, but you know, it can um, touch a lot of lives and um, people out there in the community, and especially our Tongan one. And um, also got my little brother and a few of my cousins to do a, 
um, a dance before uh, pre-game, so um, that should be good as well. You know, even though you know it's a little bit later, um, you know they're still you know still struggling, and you know you can't get endless amount of support, so um, any support helps. I think the rebuild is, is probably going to take a while. The tsunami wiped out quite a few houses, and um, as you guys know, that Tonga, you know, it's, it, they don't really have much, and, and their houses and whatnot are, are, aren't as strong. And yeah, the rebuild's going well, and um, yeah, as you can tell, there's lots of um, help from Australia, New Zealand. Um, to get supplies over there, so that, that's been a bonus as well. So, it's not our first world country back home, but um, you know they they struggle with a bit of money, and you know they pretty much live off the land, and you know do the best that they can. So, stuff like that happen. You know, all the islands they all get together, and the rest of the world come together, and you know don't hesitate on helping the helping the country. So, you know, you know my family and you know the whole of Tonga is grateful for for all the help that they've they've that they've got.